The video for May 2nd, 2017 is a question. Is Earth going retrograde? I imagine most of us have heard of Mercury retrograde. I just read that this happens four times in 2017, and we're near the end of the second one that ends on May 3rd. Money, it says, plays a big part. For me, it has been computer issues that have plagued me over the past days. Recording videos where there is no sound is not only frustrating, it is also very time consuming as I have to struggle to find a solution as well as using my older laptop to make my videos. Well, I wonder if Earth ever goes retrograde. In a sense, I see our planet as having long been ruled by retrograde entities that turn everything inside out and upside down. Truth takes a back seat to lies, and evil inverts the, the most loving aspects of life. I'd like for humanity to experience a reverse flow, a retrograde of energy that propels us into a new age of spirit, where we can learn firsthand what it's like to overcome the grossly negative energies we've endured for so long. <sighs> Indeed, this is the second time I'm recording this video. It's interesting, and as I just posted on Facebook a little bit ago, I did a test video on my uh, newer computer after uploading three Windows important updates. And I did a test video, and it was about a minute and a half long, and it came out perfect, sound and everything. So I thought, well, maybe the Windows updates fixed the problem. So I went ahead and I recorded my 10 minute video on the newer computer. And then when I went to play it back, no sound, not from, not one syllable of sound, just me, my video with my lips moving and nothing coming out. Why it worked on the test video and not on the other one, I have no clue whatsoever but I didn't try a third time. As I did it a couple of days ago, I made two videos on the newer computer, neither of which had sound. Um, so here I am on the older computer talking about retrograde, and my newer computer is in retrograde. It's a reverse flow of energy from the way it's designed to work, and I've spent time with my friend from from England trying to resolve the issues. I've been on, on with Zoom because I have audio on the other computer. It's not like I don't have audio. I can listen to the other people's videos and stuff like that and they, they come out just fine. Uh, I have a Vono reader and I can read my emails and stuff like that when I highlight the, the text. So everything over there seems to be working fine except when I get to Zoom. Uh, Zoom doesn't allow me to record my videos, except when, I'm, when it's not important, when it's a test video, then it's okay. So folks, I, I know that those of you that are listening can understand my frustration. And somebody says, well, it's Mercury up, uh, retrograde, and that's why all this is happening. Well, I'd like to see a, a, a different kind of reverse flow of energy, a retrograde where the Earth actually gets to move into the Aquarian age from the Piscean age, and where we get to experience uh, life that isn't controlled by demonic entities, life that isn't uh, uh, manipulated by those who only want to, to do it for profit and for control, and do not want to do it for the best interests of our, of our individual enlightenment and growth and evolution, whatever you want to call it, we, we continue to live on a planet of slavery where we uh, are controlled by a monetary system where they create money out of nothing and then multiply it times 10 or more. Everything is fictional. Everything is fake. Everything is a lie. When are we going to get truth? into the ascendancy role, where truth begins to actually liberate us. And I don't believe this can be a process that allows the evil entities to remain in power. 
because as long as they remain in power, whether whether they are just an, uh, a projection of our own negativity, of our own dark side, if you will, or even of God's dark side, if, if that's all they are, what is that we're supposed to learn from this? To me, we can't learn from negative experience. We can only learn from positive experience. Now, I was uh, at a meeting last night where my friend Margie gave a talk, and it was a good talk. I mean, I really appreciated her candor and her uh, insights that she shared. Uh, but part of it is, uh, again, not being in, in a place where you're focused on what's wrong with things. And to me, you can never, ever get a problem solved by ignoring the problem. You have to take the problem head on. And Margie did make it clear that when she, she still feels anger and she still gets uh, per periods of frustration that she encounters in her life. And she spends a little bit of time on them and she moves on. And, and she radiated with a, uh, an energy that is definitely, it's for her, it's been very transformational. But, uh, I have a problem, and another, one of the other people there expressed uh, in, the, in the discussion group expressed uh, a problem with just turning our backs on, on, on not correcting the issues that are so malevolent and so destructive uh, that are going on here on our planet. We have to pay attention to them. We don't fix them by ignoring them. And uh, this has been a conundrum for me that is is very 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 difficult because all of my life i have felt that my mission was to help bring about the kingdom of heaven on earth i mean since i was a little boy since i was a teenager i've had this vision uh of course my consciousness has expanded and shifted and stuff uh, over the course of my life and over the past year 14 months or whatever 15 months it has been extremely difficult since they stole my home as i've re-examined many many things but i want to see humanity uplifted not controlled not with lids on uh not living in a in a it's, people say well this is a a a, a a bipolar world it's a, it's a world where we have positive and negative yes Positive and negative are how things manifest. I know that. But negative does not have to be evil. Evil is when, evil is when the negative overrules the positive. That's not balance, folks. That's not life. That's death. And we've been living in a re recycling of death. We have intervals of life penetrated by who knows how much death, but the whole thing is about death. It's not about life. It's not about living. It's not positive. It's not uplifting. It's not liberating. And these are the things that I think we need to get be able to move into. And what's it going to take? I don't know. I'd like to see a real shift into the Aquarian age. I'd like to see the Piscean age of darkness left behind and the uh, age of Aquarius given a birth that uh, awakens humanity to our untapped potential and helps us to realize that we are much more than what we've, than what we've known ourselves to be, that we have talents, gifts, and abilities that have been suppressed and hidden from us, and we need to have these, these qualities awakened so that we can finally uh, live lives that are fulfilling rather than challenging and frustrating. And I don't mind challenge if it's honest challenge, but I don't like it when it's manipulated and when it's when the, the whole thing is set uh, with the opposite direction seemingly in the forefront. Anyway, I hope this makes sense in my second recording and thank you for listening. Namaste.